Hey guys, so I'm back doing more videos, I guess. Um, but now we're gonna have a little bit more higher quality, I hope. Do you think this is better? A little bit? I know. Um, lighting isn't the greatest, I know that, but I gotta work to what I have, if you know what I mean. So today's review will be a show, which cost me roughly $28 to get all the volumes. Now, there is a box that you can get by Funimation for roughly $21, and that show is... Speed Graffer. Now, Speed Graffer is one of those shows that buying on a whim and not knowing what you're going into might be a little bit better, maybe, than knowing. Um, I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's just one of those shows that you can buy on a whim and watch and be like, okay. <laughs> because to explain it real fast, you have the main character named Saget, I believe, um, and he is a photo, kind of like a photojournalist. He basically gets photos and stuff from war, from, you know, celebrities, kind of just one of the paparazzi kind of like dude, uh, but that's how he gets his money, uh, is from photos, and he's famous for doing it. So, you know, he's been doing it for about what, 20 years, it almost seems like, and it gets to the point where him and his boss find out that there is a secret underground cult uh, that all these different famous people are going to and they need to, you know, figure out, you know, what's going on down there. So he sneaks down there uh, and brings his camera and takes a picture of what they're doing. Uh, and he finds out that there is a young 15-year-old girl who's down there and she they're all calling her a goddess in this and realize that she is a part of this ritual thing and while he's taking pictures you know to uncover this whole thing they catch him and they're about to kill him uh and right before they do anything this goddess person starts like making out with him which you're like what the fuck you know because he's like i don't know 40 and she's like 15 kind of weird and uh then they just start stabbing the shit out of him they just keep stabbing 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 stabbing, stabbing. and you're like well, that was a great episode. Um, how is there more? So, <laughs> you basically realize that, you know, he's not dying and you don't know why. So he goes and grabs his camera because he's like, you know, let's take a picture of this, I guess. And he goes to take his picture and <sighs> he blows them apart. Um, and he's like, what the hell? And he's like, <laughs> and he starts trying to escape. So he grabs the girl and tries to escape and the girl eventually snaps into reality of what's going on and you realize that she has been taken out of this cult from her mother's kind of man secretary uh, I guess you could call it and basically she's been used as cult because she has this special DNA which every time you know her DNA gets transferred to someone else they get powers um, so throughout the show you find other characters who have these different powers, I guess, and there's not as many as you might think the show could throw out just because of the concept, right? There is a few, there is enough, but there's not a lot. Um, they at one point kind of lose track of that idea and just make it a, uh, you know, girl and guy run away kind of story, which that's what the, the entire story is. If you don't like those kind of stories, then, you know, this isn't going to be for you. But the show itself has that feeling of, like, really awesome stuff happens, and then something really silly happens. You're like, oh, okay, I guess. Um, you have Saget's girlfriend character which is a cop and she basically like obsesses over him 
to the point of where she eventually screws him over later on in the show and then you know she helps him again she's one of those kind of characters but I'm trying not to spoil too much um, basically they're on the run the entire show and to the end you don't know if they're gonna get away or they're gonna be captured and that's it the music in this show is okay but it plays the same like 10 tracks over and over and over and over which can be okay until you kind of hear it and you're like yeah 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 um, there's a few other shows that do that which you don't you, you wouldn't argue with because it's whatever. A uh, show that I've been watching recently, um, The Gray Man does that. It, there's a few tracks where you hear over and over and over, but you don't get mad about it like this show. The show can get a little bit annoying. They have a lot of cool inter you know characters to introduce. The main character is played by Chris Sabat, which is you know uh, Vegeta, Piccolo, Zoro from One Piece. Um, so, you know, his voice is very familiar. The girl, I forgot who she is, but her voice is also familiar. Uh, and then one of the enemies, uh, one of the main enemies in the show is voiced by the guy who does not sue in Death the Kid. Crispin Freeman. If you watch anime and you don't know who Crispin Freeman is, just piss off. Uh, no, I'm joking. He voices Kion from the Haruhi of Suzumiya. The Haruhi of Suzumiya. Did I just say that? Yes, I did. Um, <laughs> he, he plays Kion. He plays other character. Oh, he plays uh, he plays Alucard in Hellsing, is what I'm trying to say. But he plays a lot of different characters, and he's in this show for all of, like, an episode, which it's like, whatever. But the, the show is 24 episodes. And for, you know, you can get the save edition for like 21 bucks, probably even less. Canadian, I gotta pay a little bit more for things. In America, you probably get it for like 15, probably 20 bucks, roughly. Um, and it's totally worth that. Uh, to get the singles like I did, I spent almost 30, but 28 bucks for all six singles. And I just like, you know, how the singles look better on the shelf. If you don't have room, then grab the save edition. I believe it's... I believe it's the same discs. The save edition, I believe, has only four or five discs, and this has six, of course. So, if you maybe quality-wise, it'll be better on the uh, singles, which would make more sense. I don't know. I can't confirm that by any means. But it's a decent show. If I had to do a star rating, it'd be probably three out of five. It's not great. It's not bad, but it's not great by any means. Um, but yeah, that's all I can really talk about this show. This show is done by Gonzo, which also did Gantz, another gory anime. Oh yeah, and I say another because this one is quite gory at times. It's not like intestine gory, but it's blood gory a lot, so yeah. Well, that's my review of the show Speed Eater. Speed Eater? That makes sense. This is my review of the show Speed Grapper. Why did I say Speed Eater? Oh my god. Uh, so yeah, hope you liked it. Subscribe, all that stuff. If you like, if you want to see more reviews, I'm trying to fix this whole camera setup and we'll see how it goes. Yeah.